DJ Yoshi. I got the bonus DJ conscious to represent the fullest. Wednesday, and that simply means that we are taking another stop at a great Caribbean destination. Today is uh, Anguilla's Day. We are in the cozy, beautiful island of Anguilla, and we are going to Prickly Pear Beach Bar, Prickly Pear on um, Prickly Pear Key in Anguilla bar and restaurant. And so we have with us today, we have DJ Yushi, who is pumping up the music. I will introduce to you um, in a moment or so, we have uh, Warren Buttle, who is the proprietor and owner of Prickly Pear uh, Beach Bar and Restaurant. And later we will be joined by Ken Roy Herbert, who is the chairman of the Anguilla Tourist Board. So if you haven't been to Anguilla, you are in for a treat today because this is a tiny island about two miles or so off Anguilla. And it is, it is a beautiful place. I am proud and feel privileged to have visited this place a few times on my visits to Anguilla. So I can tell you firsthand, it is quite an experience. It's a daycation. You feel like you're a if you're already on Anguilla and on vacation, this is an extra vacation, an extra leg when you sail out to this island. So, I don't want to keep you waiting. Let's, let's board and mosey on over to Anguilla. And Warren, is Warren on hey, the Can you hear me? Hi, Warren. How are you? I am fine. Oh, my goodness. Look at that view. Yes. Oh my goodness! You know how to. You really know how to make us feel jealous. I can already I tell we're in for a great treat. I mean, a host that that shows you the view before you even see his face is a great host. Yeah. That place is beautiful, just like I remember it. So, Warren, tell our viewers a bit about uh, your restaurant. Um, getting there, I was reading up on the history. Um, quite an interesting place. So tell us, how, where are you located? How do we get there? And then we'll get into um, some of the great things that your, your um, property, your restaurant has to offer. All right. Um, I'm Prickle Bear Restaurant on the Prickle Bear Key. It's just north of Anguilla. You can get here by many ways. If you're in a hut, you can check with your concierge. I should book a tour from the Calypso Fun Time. Or you can get a shuttle over to the any day you want. Easy to get to and hard to leave. I can tell. I, I've been there and it's it's even after a whole day, you know, you kind of like sigh when it's time to leave. I mean the minute you, you board the, the um that little boat, that little ferry going over, I mean you know it's it's adventure time. Yep. How, so, I, I really a bit, so, so tell us, tell us what sets your restaurant apart, aside from your fantastic location. What makes a stop at Prickly Pear Key so special? All right. What makes Prickly Pear so special? One, by far, is the food. I don't think you'll, you'll find anything better in Anguilla, although Anguilla has the best food in the absolute world. I but Prickly Pear, we do everything fresh. 
and everything is grilled to order. So we catch it fresh, we get it fresh, and we basically deliver it fresh. And you're able to see that let, later on, we walk up to the restaurant and see the, the lobster, fresh lobsters we got today on the grill and see, you will be able to see fresh lobster. When it's fresh, it has a different color, a different taste, a different vibe. And you know, a lot of times in what you want to get away, there's no better place to get away than Prickle Pear. You're like, you're on your own. There is just, you're in an open ocean. All around you is beautiful white sand beaches. And if you continue on around for a walk, you see, Prickapier also have a, a vast bird life. We also have a, a pink pond in the middle of it. And you also have these little caves, or little coves that you can actually just seclude it for couples only coves. So it has everything to offer for everybody, for family adventure, for great food, and actually for couples that want to just lie in and nobody around for a million years, yeah? That sounds amazing. So we're going to get to see some of these little nooks and crannies today, right? Yes, you guys. You guys, I'm going to try to walk and get some nooks and crannies so you can actually see from my vantage point, all right? Okay, and then I'm going to walk back up and let you get to see um, one of our signature rum punch and our uh, mixologist, our bartender, Shamar. He's going to make his famous um, coconut beach life prick up your drink for you. Okay, great. And make sure you send us lots of pictures, you know, so that we can post them afterwards. I will, I will send a picture so you can post it afterwards. Yep, um, so you yep. can actually get to see. Yep, I'm, I'm excited. I wish I was there in person, but I'll take the virtual tour today and try to get down to Anguilla as soon as I can. So, oh, wow, look at that view. So you're walking back to the restaurant, correct? No, I'm walking away from the restaurant. Right? I'm just walking away back. from the restaurant. That, I, okay. That's one of the boats that we came over with today. That's uh -huh. Calypso Daughters. And you can see almost a hundred feet beach, pure white sand, oh all the way around for like a mile and a half, a pure white sand beach. That is amazing. So and if you um, like shells, these are shells. Okay, beautiful. Oh my goodness. That really looks like a deserted island. And look, I mean, it the, is the water is amazing. And the so water this right is here? amazing. You know what that is? It looks like a tractor mark or something. Was there a tractor no, there? No, no. Is that, is, that is actually fresh turtle marks. That's how that's turtles leave. Yeah, it looks like turtles. Oh that's that's, that's a turtle amazing. Mark. What? what? The turtle marks? Oh goodness. You want to find out where the turtle is? Yeah, we can turn off the trail. I'm trying to turn back to the water. Oh, my and goodness. And all the way up here in the rocks. I found where did he bury his eggs? Got oh, a knock right here. Wow. I am thinking, all right, look. There is one spot he buried. He did not bury oh, anything. Oh, I oh. see, yeah. But that is actually a camouflage. Oh, wow. Or about that. He actually, he does this. So he came back around here, and he buried it back there. That Trick is so it. special. So right here, in this little hole here, behind everything, is where he actually buried his eggs. Wow, and this is a, amazing. Oh yeah, That's awful. amazing. We didn't have this on the schedule. This is a surprise. No, so this is a surprise. Very exciting. <laughs> Very exciting. Uh, most days they come around. It's eternal. So look, it goes by this. Watch one track, two track. Oh, wow. And this one came all the way up here. Uh -huh. And he went all the way over the hill. And he went underneath this tree, and he's right there. That is amazing. So, Warren, if you had to estimate, how long, how how long ago were these um, tracks made? Is this something that happened well, today? Maybe sometime in the night. Okay, so this is within twenty-four hours. Less than in the tw last twelve hours. Oh my goodness, because it looks so fresh, my goodness. Yeah, very fresh, 12 wow. hours, early this morning uh -huh. or in the middle of the night. 
So how often does this happen? Is this a daily occurrence or uh, once in a while? Not, we, we get to see videos of turtles coming in the day. And you, you're here on the beach and suddenly see turtles, little small turtles walking on their way back to the sea. Oh my goodness. And does it, happen, it, it, does it happen at a certain time of year or is it a year round occurrence? We have different turtles that actually lay nests in Anguilla, so they're different breeds and they all uh, breed different types. Uh -huh. And they come out, you know, you, what we usually do with the National Trust is that in Prickapier, we usually try to, to tell them, so I call, if I see this now, I call the National Trust and said we have two egg lay sites and they will come and then they, they do an examination on the lay sites this week and they see everybody lays and they can tag them and then we know exactly what to do next time. So then they That's wait for them amazing. to come out. That's amazing. And are you the only place where, is Prickly Pear the only place where you can find turtle nesting or is it, are there other points on no, the no, island? No, no, turtle nests um, all over Angola. But they, oh, they're more really? concentrated on certain parts of Angola. Mm -hmm. like certain, certain, you find a lot more land sites there. Um, that other areas, but Angola for into Angola have nested sites. Wow, that looks like a huge turtle. What, what was that? A leatherback, maybe a leatherback turtle? Uh, I'm not sure. Can't tell. Okay. Either okay. either one of those actually come up. Yeah. Yeah. Leatherback, greenback, one of those actually nest here all the while. So National Trust will tell me, and I will, I will know exactly what is it that there um, came up when they keep come over and check it. Well, we weren't kidding when we said that you're a vacation. You come to Prickly Pear and you get everything. Nature, yes. romance, good food, good drinks, um, if, if nice I, vibe. Mr. Hutchins. Yeah, if, if, if I had a little, if we had a lot more time, I would take you on the other side of the island. And uh -huh. it is just gorgeous. It is just fantastic. It's just a wildlife undisturbed for a millennia oh my goodness that's amazing a wildlife for a millennia so but it's this what we try to do here in, in prickle pier is actually keep everything as authentic as we can and as you know pristine as we can so we use everything we do is actually all about that nature and mm -hmm. being that i'm also a member of the um the marine Marine Park Committee. Uh -huh. so I'm, I'm also on the committee that manages all, all of the marine parks in Angola. And I'm, I'm an environmentalist. I'm actually so, so against pollution and anything like that. Mm -hmm. Well, it definitely Are shows. This, this place says pristine all over. This is virgin territory. <laughs> so beautiful. When, yeah, you say pure and, when you said pure Anguilla, this epitomizes pure Anguilla. It is beautiful. Yeah, it is absolutely beautiful. I, and as always, the, the, the best part about Anguilla is the people that you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. The Anguilla great source of all self people is their persons, the people mm -hmm. of Anguilla. The nicest, calmest, more, they don't want to have a drink with you than anything else. All right, I I'm going to show you one. Oh, one of our bartenders here, I pick up here that's tomorrow. And he has a personality out of this world. All oh right? my goodness. So we're over. So he's going to take us on. He's going to mix our first drink today? Yeah, he's going to mix our first drink. And he's going to uh -huh. mix um, the rum punch. And we come back down after we go to the kitchen. And he will do the coconut rum that he has. Prick up here, coconut rum. All right? Oh, right. Hey, Shemana, say hi to everybody. So, all right, his glass is iced up. These are fresh coconut we use for a coconut drink. Up next, uh -huh. I'm ready for you. I like, I like his, I like his glasses. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we can't tell you what's in the our rum punch mix because one thing about Anguilla, everybody thinks they make the best rum punch, right? Yeah. But we can tell you some of the ingredients that are in it. Not the bomb base, the fire, but yeah. We're, we're ready. Captain Morgan, monkey, the Serrano, Amaretto, Coconut, uh, Malibu, and Myers. 
Okay. So he's actually making cook. Oh, no, this, this drink looks really good. I can Wait, tell you I already all, had one. Of it. You put all that rum in the in the rum punch. I was just gonna ask. No, 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 no. no. Uh, oh, ah. we, we call it rum punch. It's called okay. rum punch. <laughs> So it's a mixture it's, it's of not, it's, actually not, it's, it's actually not. It's. Oh, let me try this right here. Ladies, ladies. It's <laughs> called rum punch. He is a riot. It sounds, it sounds like a knockout punch. I am telling you. No, no, it's called rum, rum punch. Rum punch. That's how we do it. All right. Packs a punch. That punch rum. Okay. What is oh, the, oh, this is nice. What is the local rum in um, Anguilla again? Uh, Anguilla use all different kind of rums. Everybody, we don't, we have the pirate rum. Pirate, There's pirate. Oh, back, yeah. Rum coming out of the store. But I said, everybody says, everybody has the best rum punch. Everybody went, say their restaurant has the best, but we will see us. Well, it's certainly, it's certainly given all of us an incentive to come visit your your um your bar. Yeah, I mean, I'll be here sitting there on a chair sitting and I can't come. We got to sit together. You know what? You're breaking up a little bit. I think he's stuck right now. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Okay. That's yeah, better. That's better. Yeah. A little, you, you were breaking up a little. Yeah, I got cut off for a second. All right, let me go back over. And yeah. in, in break up here, we have a captain to protect the beach. Oh my goodness! What's his name? It's, a, it's a Captain Morgan. Okay. Captain. <laughs> uh. You ready to go up and try the food out? And how, how long has Captain Morgan been in charge of the island? What's the history on Captain, Captain Morgan? Captain Morgan has been in charge of the island for the last, I said, two years. Two years. Okay, so he's, he's, a, rec he's a recent appointee. <laughs> he's a recent appointee because we need a protection, so we're basically calling the captain. All right, I let's enter the restaurant. Okay. Put Pat up to the restaurant. Caribbean music. Yeah. Uh, let this is Chica, our chef. Say hi, Chica. Hi. Hi. What's cooking good looking? Uh, we have it. We're doing some shrimp. We have it some uh -huh. our rum shrimp with our Malibu and our coconut rum shrimp. Did you say rum shrimp? Yeah, everything has rum in it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's hilarious. Rum shrimp. Okay, that's one for the. That's one for the task um, history book. So take your own shrimp, the saute, put um, rum, and we also put Captain Morgan on it to give it that nice sweet taste. Put side on. All right, let's. Hey guys, hey, these are our two helpers today. That's Brad Pitt. Hey Brad. <laughs> hey Brad, you say hi Brad. Hey guys, what's up? <laughs> what's up? And that's Eddie Webster from Island Harbor. I have to mention where he comes from. It's, right it, it's very hot right up. So this is lobster done fresh. Oh nice. You can tell when I have a fresh lobster because it's so nice and white and beautiful. Oh, fantastic. 
And also, the secret of our ribs in up here, we have the best ribs in the world because we cook ribs first. Okay, Kelly, I think And then we basically steam them in foil. So this is steamed. So when you bite it, it bought it for you. And you these, so every, almost everything that we cooked is actually on the grill here. Fantastic. So Chica, say hi. Hi. Hi there. This, how this are is how you? we actually do it. I'm fine. Great. <laughs> that looks amazing. So we work and do every single day. This is what we do. We, we have a great time. We enjoy everything about what we do. Serving is our, our, our joy. Fantastic. All right, you want anything else? We're going to be here. Are, are you want to see me eat? All right, Chica. <laughs> Do your thing. What, what, all right, Chica, I'm coming back, all right? The one thing about us in Angola, we're authentic in every form of fashion. Mm -hmm. There is no pretense or nothing. It's just authentic, great service, great food, and great personalities. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that, that's, well, we that's what we sell. We just, yeah, we just all have, we, we, we all have fun, yeah? We all decide to have fun. Just no, nothing more than having fun. Have a good drink, you know, just relax and take things easy. And, and that's why right, I'm here back with Shema. We are the back. You're breaking up a little bit. Like, yeah. All right, we're back here with Shema. You can't see him? No, we can't. We're stuck a little bit. Is, is, is it Shamar? Yes. Uh, he's here mixing his, his, his drink right now. Okay. This one you can't actually see. And that is... Yeah, we, we mix heavy. Sorry. You get your money's work. That's what our travel advisors want to hear. You get your money's work. You get, they they get your money's work. Sure, our travel advisors want to make sure that they're clients uh, are well taken care of they get good value for money um it's, the service is great so you guys are doing an excellent job yeah no service sounds gonna be great i'll break up here okay all right see that cooking up pieces on top oh nice yeah 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 uh, you want me to drink it for you <laughs> yeah, i, drink it. I do will your find thing. Here. Do your thing show us how it's show us how we should be drinking it all right you have a seat on the chair, seat, comfortable, you relax, yes. you put your elbows up because that's good <laughs> etiquette. Yes. You lean over, <laughs> you tell the bartender, thank you so much for this great drink. You lean into it, you start drinking. There you go. There you oh go. Oh my God. <laughs> you know what coconut is good for in the Caribbean? For us to drink more. It certainly is. Oh God, this is so nice. And on the piece of coconut, oh. Edible garnish, edible garnish. So is it the dry coconut or the, or the green one? Two things. All uh, right, what, what he actually did today, the coconut he used, these are middle-sized coconut. They're not too young, but have a lot of juice in them. Okay. And we got dry coconut to actually make the garnish. I got so you. These are actually picked on the beach here because we have a lot of coconut trees around. Uh -huh. We get the coconut, we cut them off, and they, they're sweet and they're young, but they're very sweet. The younger, the, the younger they are, the, the more electrolytes are in it. Mm -hmm. So, full of electrolytes and basically add a little bit of um, gin. You know, coconut and gin always goes well. And we yes. put a little of rum inside of it to give it an extra flavor and actually calm it off so anybody can drink it if you're not a gin. Jordan fan, you will still love it. 
And that gin can creep up on you. I know from experience. Yeah, why did it creep up on me? There's <laughs> <laughs> no good vacation being sober. Sorry, I don't think that. I know what you mean. A day on Prickly Pear, you know, you need to go back feeling like you, you know, you're, you're sauced up. Yes, I reach back home, I go to sleep. <laughs> yep, you get back to your resort, the mainland, what have you, and you're sauced up. A full, yeah, a full day like of enjoyment. Total enjoyment. You go back, you have a good sleep, and say, oh God, it's the greatest day of my life. Greatest food, greatest company, greatest people. So where would you actually board the, um, the ferry to come to Prickly Pear Beach? Give us a sense. For people who know Anguilla, some of our travel advisors are well, are very familiar with Anguilla, uh, but they may not know exactly where you're located. I know you said north, but tell us which beach or give us a landmark where you would actually um, board. Is it close to John O's? Uh, all right. So what You're breaking up, Warren. Yes. You're, you're kind of stuck. Your, your connection is um, going in and out. Yes. It's going to have a shot that runs next to John's every single day. Um, in San Diego. And the boat comes over at 11 and 12.30. So guests can call and make a reservation. Come to Perky Pair, it's only $40 per person on the shuttle. Say that again. How, how much is it? All right. Um, it's $40 per person to come over on the shuttle. Is that and round that included, trip? Yeah, that's round trip. And it also uh -huh. includes a drink at a bar. A drink of okay. your choice, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and how, and long, all, how long is the ride over? The ride is about... 15 to 20 minutes, all based on the weather condition. Yes, okay. Okay, great. And of course, they have to make reservations. Oh, that would be, that would be advisable. Make reservations and that would be okay, totally great. advisable. And, and what in terms of returning? So right, you so do you want us to walk? Yeah, let's walk. But quick question, what time would they get back? What, what's the return time uh, so people have a we, sense? We don't have, we don't have a sense of return time. We think 3.30, Okay. All right, tell you but, what we're going to uh, do. Most kids will leave us. Okay, Warren, we're going to break for some music. Um, well, three, three, four. You're, you're breaking up. We're going to break for some music. When you get to your destination, we'll cut back in. But we're going to go back and get some music because you're breaking up for a second. Let's see what we can do on this end, if anything. But you walk us to our next destination. Oh, no, we'll I think, no, I think, Say that I think again? It's, uh, because we're out. I think because we're out in the island on the sea is yeah, why you're going to have to break up. Yeah, we're probably going to have this back and forth. Yep. Yes. All right. So let, let's continue and see, you know, how we fare. All right, but, great. Uh, to our listeners, uh, just bear with us. We're out on an island trying to do the best with our connection. Um, hopefully we'll be able to, at least we can see, but we, we do have some challenges with the sound going in and out. But Warren will definitely make up with, Make up for it with some of the most amazing views. Look at this. This is picture perfect. Amazing. Oh, my goodness. Now, is the water very shallow where you are, Warren? Or just the water is very shallow, and it's actually also, it's very shallow. It's all sandy, totally sandy water. Yeah, it looks like it. Very nice. What time does the sun go down at this time of um, year? Uh, the sun varies. Uh, this time of year, it goes down about 6.30. Okay. Uh, 6.30 is from 5.45 to 6.30, depends on time of year. So we're gonna miss it, we're gonna miss it, but uh, this is amazing. This is so beautiful. 
It is. When they say pure Anguilla, this is ex precisely what they're, what they're talking about. Doesn't get much purer than this. Okay. You can see we're going over the, the other side of the island. Okay, well let's let's hope we have um let's hope the signal um holds up. Because yes. we'd love to be able to see it. Go ahead, track it up. We can hear the wind, that's always a good thing. Yeah. So what's the temperature in Anguilla like at this time of year? Is it a little cooler on the island, uh, on the key, as opposed to, um, as opposed to um, on the... Let's see if it's I, I could say perfect too hot, not too anything. Yeah, we're stuck. The screen is stuck. I can hear you in and out, but it's it's stuck. You're you're not moving. So I guess the signal is not cooperating. Kelly, I think we should get some music on because we've lost, it looks like we've lost the signal. DJ Yoshi, can hear me? Can you give us some music now? Hmm. I could see him in the studio. So we have some music coming by DJ Yoshi. Give us one second while he sets up. Okay. Okay, and we thank you for your patience, travel advisors. It's a virtual tour. And of course, we're on a deserted island. They do have Wi-Fi, but there are some challenges. And so we'll try to reconnect as soon as we have a better signal so that we can continue on this fantastic tour. I hope you've been enjoying the views. It's, uh, it's just simply amazing to be able to um, virtually do this tour and, and to, to really get a, a foretaste of what Anguilla has to offer and in particular, uh, Prickly Pear Key. What a beautiful place. So let's just recap. Um, the Manager owner is uh, Warren, uh, his last name is Buttle, and he uh, took us on a tour. We got to see, we didn't actually see turtles, but we actually saw the, the tracks from the, from the turtle as, um, I guess the tracks as they headed to the water. We got to see some turtle eggs, and uh, we met our bartender, and uh, there was some great rum punch using several rums. I can see Warren, looks like we're back with Signal. Yeah, can you know, when I go, I can hear you, but when I go to the other side of the island, I keep getting cut off. Yeah. There has tons of tracks, tons of turtle tracks. Oh, wow. That is so amazing. I can't, I really, if I go with my phone, we're going to get cut off, so I decided to come back this direction. Okay, great. We can, we can definitely hear you a lot better. But yes, I, I'm, I'm sorry about that, yeah? Yeah, well, you definitely gave us something to look forward to. And it, 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 this, this is a site. Okay. 
That's beautiful. All greener. So tell tell us what where what side of the island is this? Um, is this the side away from Anguilla? Yeah, this is the north side of the island. We're looking north. Uh -huh. And there is um, a reef system that stretched all the way from here, all the way goes back straight to Anguilla. So everything here is actually protected. Um, we have a little bit of um, rough seas today. This is technically rough for us. You may look calm. <laughs> I was going to say, it looks pretty calm to me. Yeah, well, you know, for, us, for us, this is like totally rough. Right? Oh my goodness. Because we are protected by the reef and we have a little surge going on. So other than that, this is rough. The water is always like calm because we're protected so well. Um, over on that side, if you're looking straight ahead, is where most of the birds, bird life is. So we have, I mean, millions of birds that cover these two islands. Mm -hmm. And on the, we have a little slip on the other side of the water to show you these little ca caves and coves that can get away. And this is a salmon um, here, all greenery, all natural, undisturbed for the entirety of the island life. That's amazing. And how, how much of a walk is this from the restaurant? How far would you have to walk in terms of minutes? Um, it's about five. Everything's about, depends on how you walk. Um, uh -huh. 15, 20, you know, some people go on like a, a 30 minute hike if you want to go around the whole entire island. Or our oh, hike, we can actually spend time taking pictures of birds, um, picking up driftwood, because there's tons of driftwood here. Um, okay. Or shells or anything like that. that. But it's usually about a 30, 40 minute walk around the entire island. Mm -hmm. This is beautiful. It is. It, it, it is actually gorgeous. And is, is there diving, snorkeling as well on the no, island? No. All right, there's a snorkel. We actually just put in with the National Trust. We just put in um, um, a case of DS for lobster right outside there on the reef system. The, right here is actually some of the best snorkeling in the region in, in, in St. Martin and bats and everything. This spot here is the best snorkeling. I would just put more things in the water for, for snorkelers to enjoy, to bring more lobsters and ever see life here. So we did a lot of work um, with the National Trust um, and the Marine Park to make sure that the park, the, this Marine Park has everything for anybody coming here to enjoy. So do you have uh, equipment? You know, can people rent equipment on the island or they have to bring their we own? Do, yes. We actually, um, we do have snorkeling equipment on Adam. We do have um, masks and we have everything on Adam in case they want. But most people usually bring their own. Snorkelers okay. who like to snorkel usually yeah, have their snorkeling quick. gears. Yes, that's amazing. So I see we have some more tracks. Are, the, are those the same tracks? Yeah. Let's see exactly we're back over different tracks going up. Oh my goodness. Look at your shadow. Uh, oh my goodness. It, it, yeah. It's it's a national park, so you expect that is actually gonna be um fantastic things over here, yeah? Mm hmm Shells. Yeah, lots of discoveries for sure. Yeah, I know. It's like a kid's paradise, yeah. And and you know what's always struck me about Anguilla, the color of the water. It is oh, just so intense. It, it, it is turquoise and it's beautiful and everything about it. Yeah. You know, it's other islands. You may, you may see uh, a light blue, but, you know, the color um, of the water in Anguilla is just a rich, deep turquoise, you know, very intense. You know, like it, like it's like it's from a box of crayons or something. Just beautiful. It, 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 it is. It is definitely a, a box of crayons. <laughs> yep, it is beautiful. All right, I'm going to take a quick walk around here. And I don't know if I'm going to go off because different parts of the island, um, phone signals varies big, widely, yeah? Mm hmm. And, and, and obviously, there are no vehicles on the island, correct? No vehicles, no nothing. <laughs> Everything's like bush tracks. Everything be very careful because that. No shoes on. I'm tracking through the bushes. No shoes? <laughs> is, is that advisable or is it just something you're skilled at? 
Do you recommend no shoes or, or is this something you like to do? Okay, looks like we're stuck again. We'll wait to see if we can reconnect. Kelly? Yes, I'm right here. Yeah, we should definitely see. I think we've lost him. So were we able to connect with our DJ? Okay, well, travel advisors, once again, we've lost um, our connection, but uh, I trust that you're really enjoying the views. This is such an amaz amazing tour. It is supposed to be a party. The music will follow later, but uh, our host has been so gracious in taking us through um, some of the nature reserves to see um, a bit of what the island has to offer. So we certainly are enjoying the views. And um, so we're, we're going to stand by to see if we can reconnect with Warren. And um, as soon as he's back, we will, we were hoping to also fill in with some music, but we're having some challenges there as well. Um, but let's see if we can answer any questions. I know that we had a couple of comments. Um, Brenda Douglas from Denton, um, Maryland. Brenda, welcome. Uh, anyone else that's online and you have questions, um, whether on Facebook or on Zoom, send us your questions. We'll try to see if we can get, get um, some answers for you. But let me just recap thus far what our host um, shared with us. Uh, the Island Prickly Pear Key, it is on the northern side of Anguilla. Uh, getting there is quite easy. There are several ferries that can take you. He recommends that you make reservations. So regardless where you are on the island, it's very easy to get to. It is a uh, very short uh, 15 to 20 minute ride depending on the weather. And I think we have a video that we'll show at this moment. Um, enjoy and we'll be right back.
Okay, make you, a job for you. Do you need you back on? What you know okay, great. What you do. Okay, so uh, Kelly, I couldn't hear the sound, but I hope everyone was able to see the the beautiful pictures of the video. Oh, you weren't able to see it? I could see it, but I couldn't hear. But the the um, images were amazing, and um, have have we been able to reconnect with Warren? Um, no, but um, DJ Yoshi is ready. Okay, Warren great. Is back here. Mm -hmm. So DJ Yoshi, we'll have him tell us a little bit about the island, some of the things that are there to do. And then we'll check to see what time um, the chef is going to be ready. I believe we can go back to the drink that we were making. And um, hopefully we'll then have the chairman on. And uh, the party continues. So, DJ, we're ready when you are. He's coming on now. Okay, great. Okay, here we go.
That's right, that's right, that's right. Gotta big up, big up my ladies one time. Do we big up myself, Kelly? I see you guys. Yeah, that's right, that's right. <laughs> you know, I was multitasking. My apologies, Do we? I was multitasking, but you know, it's better late than never. So let me turn this down. Oh, you know, we're, we're enjoying the music. This is amazing. <laughs> well, 
really know. So listen, yeah. since we have your attention, tell us a bit mm -hmm. about Anguilla. Tell us about, you know, um, some of the attractions, the nightlife. Well, what's you know, good, you know, what can you do? We, we got a really great tour of Prickly Pear Key, but tell us a bit about the island, some of the other things that are, well, that, that you can enjoy. You, you can enjoy, we have, you know, we have a lot of, let me, let me turn on my music all the way. We have a lot of caves here in like, so like when you go hiking, you can go to different caves. You have Shoal Bay, you have, um, Black Garden, Black Garden in some place that's, um, on the upper side of the, of the valley. Uh -huh. It's like down, it's like down a hill. That's where you can find Annie Villas, one of the top oh, wow. rated, yeah, one of the top rated villas. I would say in the Caribbean, you know, they, people are going to say in Anguilla, but I would say in the Caribbean. Mm -hmm. But I beg, I beg to differ. Um, we could argue because <laughs> Anguilla is a gem in herself. She's shaped like an eel, hence the name Anguilla. Mm -hmm. um, I was born here at the old cottage hospital before Irma came and decided to take the, the hospital with her. I was uh -huh. born up there. And um, Anguilla is just niceness. The people, the the foods, like prickly pear. I played on prickly pear several times. Uh huh. Prickly pear is gorgeous as you can see, and the the video doesn't know justice. You need to get down there after you guys are able to come in. After we open our borders, cause we've been closed for a minute now. Uh huh. When you open, you guys come on down and sample Prickly Pear. Absolutely, I've actually been to Prickly Pear, so I yes. I went there twice, and and it's it's just be beautiful. You know, you it's know, it's one of those things. You you I probably went to Prickly Pear maybe on my fifth trip to Anguilla. <laughs> I did not know it existed. So you know, it's you know further it's further down close close to the Dog Island, but you you know you also have um Sandy Island as well. I've been to Sandy Island, yes. and uh, that's the one I knew. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I believe Sandy Island was in the Royal Housewives of, of Atlanta, correct? Yes, yes. Yes, I remember I, I saw it. I, and um, the proprietor there, he's quite a character. What's his name again? <laughs> you have, well, you, well, you, have um, you have Simone Connor and you have um, Sharpie. I know Ms. Sharpie. I'm not sure of his real name. But they basically um, deal yeah. with Sandy Island, the daily, yes. the daily runnings. Yeah. You know what? You can also you can rent out the island as well. I uh, play for weddings there. I'm I'm, I'm an international DJ. I, I'm based out of Anguilla, but I used to live in New York. So, Fantastic. Yeah, I've I've been around the world. Mm -hmm. Don't let the young Fantastic. face fool you. I have a um I have a couple of years on me. <laughs> just <laughs> yeah, I have a couple of years on me. But Anguilla is just the it's 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 a it's a perfect mixture of culture, sun, sand, and I would say tourism. tourism yeah, no, it, it, it's an amazing place. Lots of night spots, mm -hmm. um, yeah, you, you great know, restaurants. Have, I, I was just doing an interview a little while ago. Um, you have Lit Lounge, you have Elvis, you have Tipsy Island Bar, they have their reggae night that's overlooking Sandy Ground each and every Wednesday. Um, what about yeah. the pump house? The pump house yeah. is still around? Yeah. Um, no, actually, um, Irma took the pump house with her. Are you serious? Oh, oh so my, sorry listen, to hear that. I like that place. Irma? Uh-huh. A lot of, a lot of our natural, <laughs> our natural attractions with her. Oh, but, I'm sorry to hear that. No, that's okay. We, we're resilient yeah. people. We right back. Oh, please. <laughs> Ir Irma slap us right. We just turn and walk right up. And that's, yeah. Um, I think somebody had asked her. Did. That you guys are so... What'd you say? I'm sorry, Kelly. No, I think somebody asked about a restaurant. Is it David's restaurant? It's David's. Yeah, yeah. That's that's down that, that's Crocus Bay. That's down that's um that's not too far from me actually. I'm I'm in the valley. I'm in Rock Farm. That's about um Crocus Bay is maybe about two minute drive. Okay. What about Johnny O's? Johnny, Johnny O's. I love Johnny that place. Yeah, John O's. J John O's. John O's. Is, sorry. That's no okay. you know, we have English, 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 and then we have American English. But yeah, <laughs> Janos, Janos, it's right, it's right there on the beach, sandy ground. Um, that's a nice place too. Yes, it that's is. Where you, that, that's where you catch the boat to go quickly. Yeah. Yes, right yes. And when you guys used to have the jazz um, festival, of course, there, there was um, there was I, I remember going to a nice event there one mm. Sunday on the beach with. Yes, Dean Frazier. Yes. Um, 
Wait, hold on, oh, it's amazing. The tra the, what is it? The, the Tranquility of Jazz Festival? Is that it? It could be. It could be because they, they have many. John Wills ha has his, his jazz um his jazz ensemble whenever whenever he's ready. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of you know one thing Anguilla is known for is celebrities and they all. Oh, I know. They're always here. I I ran into I ran into Denzel Washington oh. at Jono's. Okay then. Um, about maybe seven eight years ago, New Year's Eve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, we be lit according to the young children. We yeah, be lit for Anguilla. sure. <laughs> and then and then one time Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton were there for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah. The the Go the ahead. um the celebrities love it because they they roam free and Grillins are not starstruck in it by, by any measure. Mm -hmm. and, and so they like that freedom. Let me give you a, um, let me give you a joke. When the, the first time that, um, uh, Queen Latifah and Monifa were here back in 97. Oh, that must've been, oh my goodness. That's, I, I met you, them at the pump house. <clears throat> oh, right nice. The house. Now they didn't know about Anguilla. They had their, they had their bodyguards and everything. And, and I was like, I said, um, I forget her name was Marion, Marion James. Marian James. I think like, real no, name. Nobody cares. Nobody cares who you are. Yeah. <laughs> no, she gave me, she, she gave me her real name. I, I said, um, Miss Marion, you don't need your security guards, you know, you don't need a detailer. This is Anguilla, you know, mm -hmm. she said, um, you're sure you're talking about. I said, yeah, you don't, this, nobody's really going to bother you like that because we have the likes of you guys here all the time. You guys are basically family, so you don't need the security detail. So that was the first night. The next night, she came out without the security detail. Bad Janet deal. Jackson too. Janet Jackson came here all securityed up. Didn't know. Then the next trip, now she had no security. So we are people that are very, very cultured, very, mm -hmm. very um, respectful. Respectful. Hospitality is one of our goals because I used to work at um ten minutes and ten minutes. What's it now? Um, Ricketts. Is, is it Ricketts? No, Ricket, Ricketts the Villas down in um, Long Bay, Sky, Sea, and Sand. I, I used to work there, and we had celebrities there as well, you know. And Angola just a, a hotbed for celebrities, a hotbed for lobster, like he just showed you. I saw you. I saw you. he making me hungry, too. Yeah. I'm like, how are you showing lobster, and he, I don't have one? I mean, come on now. What is, what is, what, what's that? But Angola is just something for you to see. I think generally in most of the islands, that's one of the things about the about us. We when it comes, we mind our own business. We just continue on, <laughs> and yeah, we just continue on because it's you know, you know that we don't. That's one of our that. foundations, minding our business, because you don't want to go and say, "Oh boy, I saw I saw um, Denzel Washington down by the pump house." And nobody didn't know that Denzel wasn't was in Anguilla. Now, when you go and say that, the next time Denzel is here, people from St. Martin, Saber, Stacia will be coming here just to catch a glimpse of Denzel. Now, let me give you another story. Beyonce and Jay-Z, their yacht was out on the water in Sandy Ground close to Sandy Island. And their, his mother came in, Jay-Z's mother came in here, right? And they didn't know who she was. And she told him who she was. And then also Beyonce's mother came in right behind on a little boat. So nobody knew that they were even here or until we saw the, the, the parents. So it's like that in Angola, very laid back, very subdued. Like I told you, the, the food is awesome. The hotels are awesome. Hotels are top notch. You have Four Seasons, Capture Luca, Cuisine Art, Zemi Beach, Malihana, um, Anguilla Great House, the... You have a number of hotels here. You could choose. Zemi Beach was in, was in Forbes magazine. It was rated one of the top 10 destinations in the world. Now that says a lot. I can't hear the read. Yeah. Sorry, I said fantastic. And that's why we love talking to the people. Because, you know, the, the events that we do, we like talking to the locals. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you can read a brochure. There's information online. Um, you know, um, but we like to hear the, the, the stories and the accounts from the people. Um, you, you know where the, um, you know where the real action is. Of course. You know the author beaten path, um, places. 
And um, so you're the best tour guide. So I always like to engage. Um, and people like you that are in the know and, and, and you're entertaining people and meeting mm -hmm. people and having lived in New York, you definitely know how discerning some people can be, what their expectations are. So you're, you're, you're a great ambassador for your country, I'm sure. Listen, you have to be. Anytime I go anywhere in the world, I represent Anguilla before yep. even a DJ. I so am... tell us about COVID. How are people coping? I know that plans, I, I know you can't speak for the government. <laughs> and I know that I wouldn't put you on the spot. And I know mm -hmm. that the chairman is going to mm -hmm. be on momentarily. And he'll tell mm -hmm. us in greater detail what the plans are. And... Him there. Actually, oh, he's on right now. <laughs> oh, great. oh, great. So you're off the hook. <laughs> but, still, but from 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 a um the perspective of a resident tell mm -hmm. us how are the people coping with the pandemic what are you looking forward to and um just tell us a little bit about we, i mean we miss anguilla our mm -hmm. travel advisors who sell anguilla they're anxiously awaiting the reopening i know lots of um clients can't wait to get back they're anxious about whether they're going to make it back for the holidays so before I switch over to um, mm -hmm. the chairman, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Herbert will be with you shortly, but tell us, um, Yushi, mm -hmm. how, how you're coping with COVID, COVID and what you're looking forward to. You know, when, when, COVID, when COVID first came about, you know, I was very surprised to see that, uh, <laughs> that COVID would just shut down the world. Now, we are resilient people. We caught... We caught it in time to shut down our borders, <clears throat> as our um, our sister island Saint Martin, you know, they shut down their borders too. But during COVID nineteen, it's given me giving me me myself a chance to reset and look forward to twenty twenty one. The fact that we were locked down for a bit of time, but you see, w when you're locked down, you have a lot of time to think and what your next move is gonna be and um. And also be to be grateful Absolutely. that we can still move and flow on the island as we like. A lot of islands are in lockdown, still in lockdown. We, due to our government's choice, they locked us down the right time, so which allowed us now to be able to move freely. And we don't have no restrictions. Only thing is, no one can come in from outside. That was before. They can't. They opened it up to um to villa owners recently but okay officially opening supposed to be ending of october so I'm okay my fingers crossed mm -hmm. that's only if everything continues the way it's continuing because as the world is moving it's very unpredictable and nobody can't say okay i'm gonna we could say we're gonna open october 31st and something might happen and we can't mm -hmm. but life in anguilla is basically the same just that the kids have to adjust to you know different protocols right right i mean it's something simple wash your hands wash your hands and make sure that where you we are sanitized but a lot of people can't do that so they are out because they don't listen we listen when the government when the government said that's it we said okay we, we went in and we shut down and we let we had what three cases and they were all covered so we're good and that's three Brazil that's really good news yeah that's, that's really, really good news but listen, Yoshi, we don't want to keep Mr. Herbert waiting. So we'll come back to you for some more good music. I'm right and so, here. Mm, I'm great. Here. You've been doing an excellent job. <laughs> so uh, I'd like to welcome Mr. Kenroy Herbert, the chairman of the Anguilla Tourist Board. Mr. Herbert, how are you today? I am doing well. How are you today? I am doing great. First of all, let me say good afternoon to everyone who's listening and watching. Uh, do you know that DJ Yush is actually my DJ teacher? He actually taught me to DJ. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a closet DJ. <laughs> it, nothing wrong with that. It's a good skill to have if you're in tourism. The more, the more multi-talented you are if you're into tourism, the more of a survivor you're likely to be. So there's nothing wrong with that. That's a good skill to have. I know, right? I love music. I love music. Great. So tell us what's going on in Anguilla. Our, our travel advisors can't wait to... Up to speed. Um, How, was the day? How was the day going? Sorry? Okay. I'm not sure who that was. But um, 
So tell us about Anguilla. Everyone is, is anxiously awaiting. Okay, I have you back again. Okay. Can you hear me, Mr. Herbert? So, you know, Anguilla. Yes, okay. I can hear you. Yes, can I you can hear, hear me you. now? Go right ahead. So Angola, Angola is, is fabulous. Like, like DJ Yush was saying, you know, we're COVID free. So we live in a bubble. We, we, it's normal here. We, we go to the beach, we go around. There's no, there's no COVID. So there's no protocols in place for us. And we, we, we live in a, in a bubble, so to speak right now. But you know, in a time where space is essential, you know, losing the crowd, it nearly feels impossible. And, and, and thankfully, Angola has remained an uncrowded oasis, you know, um, while being named number one island in the Caribbean by traveling in Asia for four years in a row. So, you know, we have luxury five-star resorts, private villas, um, you know, white sand, the beaches, etc. cetera. And Angola is a place to heal and be healed. Um, so we have 33 white stunning beaches that you can choose to go from, you know, uh, every, every day of the month and still not duplicate your efforts. We are eagerly waiting for when visitors, you know, will grace our shows again. Uh, we have protocols in place, you know, to keep the visitors safe and ourselves safe while enjoying what Angola has to offer. Angola has successfully repatriated over, I think it's 460 persons without any incident. So our protocols do work. And right now, the first phase of our opening was focused on, 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 on you know, the villa, the villa component. It was easy for, for folks to vacation in place with the villa component. You know, the villas, they have full staff, they have a chef, the butler, the pool, they're on the beach. So even though you're vacationing in place because of the quarantine protocol, uh -huh. you're still able to enjoy certain things. Now, once the quarantine, is over and you do your final test, you're then let into the Angolian public. So you can roam around, et cetera, et cetera. And you know, there's no social distancing and, and those type of protocols in place for that. And how long is the quarantine? Is it 14 days? Well, it depends on where you come from. Uh, uh -huh. depending, on, de depending on the prevalence, so, but it's a high or low prevalence is between 10 and 14 days. So if you come from a place of of high prevalence is 14 days. Low prevalence with the risk is minimum is 10 days. Mm -hmm. Hopefully in the future that can be relaxed even more, but currently that's the protocols in Angola. So, so what kind of season are you looking forward to? I'm sure that's top of mind for a lot of people in the industry. What's the season gonna look like? And also up to the fees to enter the, to enter the island. Yes, you know that's, that's also, yes, we also, have a lot of questions about that. So, I do have some good news about the fees. We've had a meeting just yesterday where we discussed the fees and you know, the government of Angola, they listened. The fees in this announcement should be on Friday. The fees will be reduced. Um, full disclosure, you know, because we were closed since March, there, were, there are some challenges in terms of revenue. So the government just wanted to help and offset the cost because, you know, we had to hire new personnel, six additional doctors, 16 additional nurses. Uh, we had to ramp up surveillance to make sure folks would adhere to the quarantine protocols, et cetera. So this comes at a cost and the fees were introduced specifically for these reasons. And even though uh, the idea to help offset the cost, the government of Angola will reduce the fees and that announcement should be by on Friday. Can you say what the fees will be or do we have to wait for the announcement? I have to wait because I can't remember every single uh, sure. section of it. So I don't, want to, I don't want to be misquoted. I don't want to give you wrong information. <laughs> we, we understand. We totally understand, but that's certainly good news. Yes. But yes, so. tell us what your, you know, do you have a sense as to what your forward bookings look like? Uh, what your season is likely to look like? And um, for travel advisors, we're looking for um, options to send their very discerning clients this holiday, um, what does Anguilla have to offer? So a lot of questions. We know, we know, sure, we know there's a pent up demand for Anguilla. Um, like I said, it is easy to come here and, and, and vacation. You know, Anguilla is uncrowded, is, is, is unspoiled, etc. So there's pent up demand. 
Um, I am very optimistic about our forward bookings. I also have a travel company myself, the Vitacus Lifestyle and Travel. So I can gauge based on that and what is a small community. So we, we know there are a lot of bookings on the books, but there are also folks who are waiting to see what the second phase right. will be like before they commit to coming because we, we're going to still have the quarantine protocol in place. So for short term stays, people may be, you know, deterred from, from coming for short term stays because if you're going to quarantine for 10 days and your vacation is only for seven days, you may opt to go somewhere else in the interim. Now the quarantine yeah. measures will not be in place forever. But for longer term stays, you know, it's no, it's no issue to come. Um, vacation in place. Let me stop using the word quarantine. Vacation in place. Vacation in place. Until, I like that. Until, yeah. Or uh, uh, stay in place until the, the last day when you have your final call. Uh, and just explore and enjoy everything Angola has to offer. So you, you don't anticipate that the and the, the critical London that sequential testing is the best way to determine if someone is COVID free. No longer can one test determine if you're COVID free. So hence the reason why we require a PCR test, you know, three to five days before arrival. Now you all know you could leave America or wherever you come from COVID free, get on the plane, etc. You may contract COVID, even though no one is. You can't get on a plane without having that test and that result. But just say you, you, you contracted COVID is a, during the incubation period, it's not going to be detected as yet. So hence the reason why when you land in Angola, you, you do a test upon arrival at the airport. And then you are transported to your accommodation. And just want you to have vacation in place until we can determine if you're safe enough to venture up into the public. And the reason why you want to do that is because Right now, we, we, we enjoy, and I'm sure the guests would enjoy not having to wear a mask in the heat and, and not having to be standoffish, you know, and six feet apart, etc. You can go to the beach, you can mingle. Once you have that final negative COVID result, you know, so it's, it's, it's I know we would love to just open the bottles and let the floodgates come through, but that would be irresponsible. And um, Angola is a very small island, and you know we can't afford to have that type of community transmission. And that, that's that's the reason for the protocols. Um, everyone won't be happy about them, but there's a reason why we're COVID-free, and we want to remain that way for as long as we can. And we want you to also come in vacation in a safe environment. You know. I hear so, that. Yeah. Yep. Um, let's see. So are, are, are there any um, properties, any, any new attractions? Probably not new properties, but when, we, when you reopen for the season. But first of all, do you have a tentative reopening date as yet? And then also any new attractions? November 1st. November 1st is the tentative date. Okay. And uh, yes. what can um, travel advisors expect? They're always looking for new attractions new products. We had an amazing tour at Prickly Pear Key, which I'm, I feel fortunate because I've been there twice. So I know it firsthand, but a lot of travel agents um, have never heard of it. Um, any new attractions, anything that you can tell us about as, as that might be a new highlight, a new feature in Anguilla once you reopen in, um, in, on November 1st for the season? Well, first of all, I, I, I missed that. Warren, did, did you speak to Warren Waddle at Prickly Pear? Oh, yeah. He did a whole tour for us. That was the first um, part of our session. He actually took the camera out. We saw tracks from turtles. We saw the actual beach. There was a chef demonstration, mixologist. You missed the party, Mr. Mm -hmm. Herbert. <laughs> so that was, from, that was from four to five. Oh, so, okay, great, great. Yeah, no, so, we, so we actually got to do Prickly a Pear is, is, is a wonderful option. Yes. Yes, wonderful. Yeah, no, Prickly Pear is a, is a re really great amenity that guests can come to and go and enjoy along with Sandy Island. Yes. And there's another option key called Silly Key. So they are really great spots, you know, for, for guests and locals alike to come and enjoy. In terms of new attractions, um, I don't know if any as yet, just because of the protocols and, you know, we're not going to be, we're not sure what 
the season will be like. Mm -hmm. You know, exactly after we open, we're going to open and test the waters first. And then, um, and then as, as the protocols and the different, um, sorry, as the different protocols relax a little bit more, then we could determine what new attractions and stuff we could bring on board. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, what else can you share with us? We have travel advisors joining us by Facebook and also by Zoom. And um, I'm looking to see if there are any questions. I don't see any questions on the board currently. But what, what, um, what would you like to say to travel advisors well, who... Go right ahead. Sure. I would love to say, you know, Angola, Angola has been the same peaceful, tranquil island as always been. We are eagerly waiting to, um, to accept visitors. We, uh, the, the, the villas, the hotels, we've done extensive training to be able to accept, you know, guests again and, and to keep them safe. We still have 33 wonderful beaches. The weather here is always great. So I just want to say, uh, even though we have protocols in place, the protocols are in place to keep us safe. So even though we have those protocols in place, still book us, you know, still, still send your your clients to Angola, we would love to have them and take care of them as we did in the past. And, and is there, I know in many of the islands, there is a, a certification process that most establishments have to go through before they reopen. Is there a similar system in place yeah, in Angola? There's a similar program here and all the accommodations are right now going through that program mm -hmm. where, you know, they are, they are being visited by the health officials and also, um, folks from the Ministry of Health and also environmental health to make sure that the staff are trained, that the villas have all the PPE equipment, accommodations, et cetera, to make sure that staff and clients are kept safe during vacation. Great. And my, my final question, what has been the biggest challenge um, that, that, that the island has had to deal with during this, during the past six months of, of, of being um, under quarantine and, and, are you, and, and you guys are still under curfew, correct? There is still a curfew in place? Well, not, not, not a curfew per se, but our water flows. And we have water protection. We're not a curfew. We can still, you know, go about our normal life and live, live our lives as normal, you know, pre, as we did pre-COVID. Um, in, in, in the other stages, in March, when we had a shutdown, when we had a three cases, there was a curfew then. But it okay. has been, you know... Like I said before, right now we live in a, in a nice bubble, you know, we don't wear masks, etc. because we're COVID free. However, um, the biggest challenge has been, you know, unemployment. Wow, okay. You know, folks, folks are not, yeah, especially in the hospitality industry, folks were not able, you know, to walk because of, there's no tourists. That, that has been the biggest mm -hmm. challenge. Mm -hmm. um, because Angola depends so much on tourism. But hopefully, hopefully, you know, November, December, that will all start to mm -hmm. change. Um, I come to reopen and folks will be back to work. And, and am I correct? Uh, you are not open to St. Martin. You cannot go back and forth to St. Martin, correct? Your borders are so close well, to St. Martin. You can, go, you, can't, you, 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 can go, you can go to St. Martin, but if you come back, you'll be subjected to quarantine. Okay, And gotcha. those measures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anybody even the, so right now we are advising people, you know, not to do any non-essential travel. Because if you do, when you come back, you're subjected to quarantine. And that's 14 days from from Saint Martin. If you go to Saint Martin, it's 14 days. Wow. That's correct. Yeah, I know. It's tough. <laughs> yep. Kelly, do you have any questions for Mr. Herbert? No, he's answered all my questions. Thank you. <laughs> and Mr. Herbert, I could not leave without telling you that my, I have Anguillan roots. I'm so proud of my Anguillan roots. Oh, you do? Oh, wonderful. Yes. My grandmother and my grandfather are from Anguilla. My oh. mother was actually born in Anguilla. My grandmother was a Richardson and my grandfather was a Fleming. Oh, wow. We, we may even be related. Do you know, do you know I'm Jerry? Sure, I'm sure everybody in Anguilla is related. <laughs> do you know Jerry Gums? Oh, yes, of course. Okay, do you know Jerry's brother, Alwyn? Yes. Okay, Alwyn's wife is my aunt. 
Connie? Oh. Yeah. Small world, small world. Small world, small world. So my, uh, my um, Connie is my mother's younger sister. My, my grandmother, when she left Anguilla to migrate to Antigua back in, oh my goodness, the 30s, um, or maybe early 40s, um, Connie was actually born in Antigua, but she married back into the Anguillan family. So, um, you know, so my family, I've been to Anguilla several times and stayed with, at my aunt's place and, you know, so I'm, I'm full, full bred Anguillan, second generation. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. You've been here, you say you've been here, you, how long, how often have you been here? Oh, how I, many I, times? I've been to Anguilla several times. I've been to Anguilla at least seven or eight times. Yep, I, oh, I absolutely wonderful. love it. Oh, yeah. oh it is. It quiet. is. Very proud to, 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 to claim my Anguilla roots. Yep. Great. Well, yes. uh, thank you so much for connecting with us. We have a membership in task of 6,500 members. Oh, Mr. Herbert is a member of task already. So. Oh, fantastic. Yes, so I don't have to tell them what goes on in task. Great. So yes, we yes. are... You know, we, we, we've um, definitely grown significantly since COVID because people really enjoy that we offer them a one-stop shop instead of having to go to all of the different Facebook pages for every destination and website to see who's doing what. And of course, a few months ago, it was changing every day. We've been proud to offer our members a one-stop shop where you come to our page once or twice a day and we can assure you that you will have your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on in the Caribbean. Who's open, who's closed, who reopened, who reclosed. You know, um, we, we try to put it all together. And of course we've expanded to do more of these edu educational types of forums because we're dealing with travel agents who are looking to rebuild their businesses. They want to look at new products. They're using the opportunity to, to re-familiarize themselves with a lot of the attractions and the destinations that they may not have been as familiar with. So we are delighted to have the opportunity to work with uh, the, ATB, the ATB, looking forward to working with um, the government and uh, using our um, connections to bring more um, business to Anguilla and to spotlight the destination as much as we can. Oh, that's so it was a pleasure. That's it was a pleasure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yep. Definitely. So we're very excited for connecting with you. So we have somebody that we can work with and um, put um, Anguilla out there, especially to our advisors who always want, you know, first-hand information. Oh, yes. And of yes. course, and of course, the breaking news that you shared with us today in terms of the reduced fees. I know that's going to spark a lot of discussion because Correct. it yes. was it was a um, you know when it was announced, it really sparked a lot of. Um, I know discussion. So I know. That, you know. <laughs> so we we will definitely put a note um, in our chat to let people know that an announcement is coming and and the fares will be reduced. Um, and that's what we do. We try to bring the breaking news to them ahead of time so that they can you know if they have clients who are interested and may have been waffling between Anguilla and another destination. They'll know that listen, that's no longer the case. Um, Come on down, send your clients down to Anguilla. Well, that would be wonderful. wonderful. Yep. Great. Great. Pleasure. Thank okay, you for having we'll me. definitely be in touch and give our best um, to, your, to your board, to the government. Uh, we wish you every success as you reopen. And just know that there are travel advisors waiting for um, eagerly for the reopening of your borders, ready to send their clients to have a, you know, a fantastic Thanksgiving, a fantastic Christmas, and beyond. And beyond, yes, definitely. And hopefully we can all put this COVID situation behind us sooner rather than later. Absolutely. I have a, I have a message for Mr. Herbert. Hello, Honorable Herbert. You escorted our luxury farm group in 2018 in Villa from the airport in Anguilla to return to the pier to the VP ferry service to St. Martin. Thanks again, and hopefully we'll see you. So everybody's been saying hello to you and those who've met you. Okay, great. Tell them hello. <laughs> so that was from Vicky Carefree. Okay. Oh, I think I remember the name. 
Oh, okay then. Vicky, he remembered your name. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello from Angola. Yep, and we, we're here to, you know, make those connections happen. Um, life needs the Caribbean and anything we can do to make, to facilitate that connection. That's why we're here. Travel advisors selling the Caribbean. That's what we do. Wonderful. And, and please tell Vicky, I look forward to her return. Great. We definitely will. Awesome. Well, thank you All so much. Right. Oh, yeah. You're, you're very welcome, Mr. Herbert. And we'll take it back over to Mr. DJ Yushi. All right. Take care. Have a great afternoon. Thank you so much. Same to you. Take care. Bye bye. That, um, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm going to allow you to call me Yushi. It's DJ Yush. Yush. Oh, my goodness. So Tell him why Yush. Did I Yush. Yeah, Yush, all right, mm -hmm. I like that. Yush. Yeah, you, 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 you think I'm um, Yoshi from Mario Brothers? No, I'm DJ Yush. But um, thank you for allowing me to be a part of this um experience, you know. And I hope to see many more of these kind of webinars on um on Zoom. Oh yeah, and I, I think what it is, people like being, you know, mm -hmm. the best thing is actually visiting. But mm. in the absence of that, if someone can take a camera and show you a live shot of where you're sending your clients, you know, that's mm. definitely the, the next best option. I think so, wait a minute. Is DJ you telling us that he's going to be available to DJ for us? When? And it, listen, all you got to do is let me know when and I'm there virtually. Okay, and when you come is. here, when you reach Angola, you just ask for DJ Yoshin. I'll make myself available because you guys are cool. The reader oh, and that's... Kelly, big up, big up yourselves. Thank you so hey, much. No, this is, this, is really a, this is really an amazing experience. You know, we... Yep. we so, mm -hmm. um, so w tell, tell us what New Year's Eve is going to be like in Anguilla. You know, I am very uncertain about that. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering myself because mm -hmm. in the past it's been huge, especially down at um, Four Seasons. Yes. Like I told you, a lot of celebrities here like Justin Bieber, um... We've had a whole bunch of people, um, Shaquille O'Neal. So it's very interesting to see what this New Year's Eve will be like, you know, due to COVID. COVID has put a um, a nail in most of our tires on our road of life. Yes, for so sure. We're just trying to, we're just trying to cope with it. With and but Anguilla had carnival where everybody else. Oh, you see, you know what? You have to bring it up, right, Kelly? You had, you had to blow up the bubble. You had to blow it up. Yes, we had... Um... <laughs> everybody canceled the carnival, but Anguilla had their mm -hmm. juve and everybody was just looking. And they didn't invite the neighbors like St. Martin was just looking on. <laughs> well, I missed it. What did you say, Kelly? Anguilla had what? The carnival. They had the juve. Oh, I didn't know that. When was this? Yes, this they was... did. This was the, around the same time as we would normally have a full-blown carnival, but we did it on a smaller, a smaller scale. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't realize you. Well, that's the way you do it. You keep if 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 it's if it's an internal carnival, nobody needs to know. Listen, a lot of people are upset at us, but that only promotes our product for next year. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know you guys had a carnival. Yeah, wow. actually, we had Every Kelly, island had to cancel, Kelly. but Anguilla went right ahead in our faces and listen, had the carnival. Uh, I'm, I'm going to get you even more upset. We had five juvies. Five? Five. five, yes. Five different juvies. Five mm -hmm. different days? Or I'm not following. Five different five. days. Mm -hmm. How many do you typically have? One. And this, this <laughs> and so in COVID, you have five. Explain yes. that one to me. We're in a, we're in a blessed place. <laughs> no, we had, um, no, no. We, we had, we had Infusion. Like... Infusion had one. We have different bands. So Infusion had one. Exodus HD had one. Panta, Panta Vibes had one. That's that's three. Then there were a couple of private ones that they had, like, you know, like little trucks on the road, but not not, not the mega trucks. So we are definitely the envy of the Caribbean. But next year, make sure you guys make it here. Yes, so for sure. I've them. never been to Ant I've always been to Anguilla at Christmas. Never, never for Carnival. Oh man, you come no, nah, you, yeah, you, come, you come the first the first Monday yeah. in August. The last the ending of July to the first to the to the eleventh or twelfth. So August. August Monday. Mm -hmm. oh, August Monday. And, yeah. and, and when years ago, when you guys used to have your jazz, I used to really enjoy that. Your jazz yes. was amazing, nice and small, you know, intimate and very well organized, very sophisticated. You know what we like? I told you we deal with hospitality, so we we have to we have to give you something, a package deal that you must come back for. 
we can't give you nothing mediocre. And yep. that's where where we come in. You know, and it's fantastic. An and fantastic. Really, as you can see, I'm not mediocre. So make sure when you come along, <laughs> oh, we, you we tell them that listen, we have come to the non mediocre island of Anguilla and we yeah. are here with Kenway Herbert and everybody, the whole Anguilla, the whole thirteen thousand people are cut above um, the rest. Kelly, are we were we able to reconnect to say goodbye to um, our host? No, did we lose? We lost him. No, he yeah, probably, I think he lost he the connection. He had to get off the island anyway because he did say he had to leave. He had to leave by a certain time. So maybe. Yeah. Like Who's, is, is that Warren? Yes. Yeah. Listen, yeah, where, where he is, um, you know where Prickly Pear is. Right. Uh huh. So, um, I'm 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 even astonished that he even had service for so long. Because yeah. remember, they're, they're so far from us. They're about uh, maybe, I would say, a little more than a half an hour from us. Mm -hmm. And he said half an, an hour, hour by is, boat. Half an hour yeah. is far. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So imagine he was doing probably using his phone data, data and ain't got no, no antennas over there. So Yeah, so he's I probably, yeah. Mm -hmm. so no, he did an amazing he, job. Maybe when he gets back on, on, on the mainland, he but we can go back to music until yeah <laughs> i'm going to connect with him via yeah WhatsApp. just to say goodbye so he can yeah. sign up and we didn't get our we didn't get our shrimp and we didn't get our second drink but we'll, we'll let him off the hook for now listen 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 when you come to anguilla make sure that you eat a lot because the rum here is plentiful and i guess i bet you guys didn't know that that one year we we bought our all the campari on the island and say martin didn't have any either you like to drink. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. Yes, listen, we are festive people. You gotta you gotta full joy yourself. We, we work hard all year long. August, yo, it's Christmas time and carnival time, yo, we gotta fit. You gotta release the stress. I know, I know. No, it's a beautiful place. I've always had fun in Anguilla. Always. Yes, and I hope to see you here next year, God's willing. Or maybe Yeah, for sure. Time. I'm definitely once once this cope once this um mm -hmm. situation is cleared, I am traveling. <laughs> I, I I will be too, but um, for right now, Anguilla is my home, and I mentioned Good before I live in New York City. New York City is my second home, but where where in New York Anguilla. did you live? West One Twenty Ninth. Oh, in Harlem. In Harlem. Okay, mm -hmm. fantastic. Yes, so I I am very cultured as far as the you know learning about the Black history of America. Mm -hmm. that they don't that they don't teach you in school. I've learned that, and I'm you know I, I've attended the um predominantly um, upper class schools in Worcester, Mass, to, from to DC and the board of Maryland and um, District of Columbia. So, you know, I've been around. Let's Fantastic. Look young. Yeah, yeah. Let's look and, and Grillins travel a lot. I found that they travel a lot. You have to. If, if, yeah. if, if you don't leave these shores, you will never know what is out there and what you're aspiring to. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's a, it's a tiny island. There's something called island fever. So after a while you need to get off, you know, so you okay. so you have island fever now, <laughs> Kelly? Where are you located? I'm actually I'm from Saint Lucia, but I'm right now I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. I live in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, you and I'm Atlanta. and I'm land I'm landlocked, so I would love to go somewhere where there is a nice beach like Anguilla, like we just saw. Listen. So there are no beaches. There are no beaches in Georgia. Atlanta. <laughs> I mean, we have Tybee Island, or like three hours away. We, you know, oh, wow. North, which is not a Caribbean beach, but Atlanta is landlocked. No, there's no, yeah, there's yeah. no water in Atlanta. But I, DJ, DJ Yushi, you know, you're making me really have, want to go to the beach right now. So give us some Caribbean music before we have to go. Okay, no problem. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you something from, from I'm going to give you some Angola music, okay? Fabulous. This, this, is, um, this is one of my, um, my favorite songs. So I'm going to, I'm going to squeeze it for you guys and you let me know if you like it too, okay? Okay, fabulous. All right, ladies. Hey. We got to read one time and kill it. Big up yourselves. Uh, Where you at? Umbrella, umbrella. Umbrella, umbrella.
and relax your mind in. Paradise. It's definitely paradise. Make sure you come on down. Paradise. I'm looking for you. Paradise. Kelly, I'm looking for you. You read, I'm looking for you, okay? You better believe it, you better believe it. There is where I want to be. There is no place. In this whole wide world, and Greenland's the only place for me. Let me tell you what I'm going right now around the world. Homegrown authentic music and Willa Invitation for an air Come along, come along To anybody who can hear After COVID, come along, come along You're welcome one and all There's a land that awaits you Will come Pick up Kelly one time, to read big up yourself. Somebody say what? Say to my lovely island. island. Where? In the sun. Come. Listen to read and um Kelly, I'm sending some of you guys, you know. Send some mango. Look out for it. It's on Liat. gonna have fun. Have fun. Yes, read I'm sending a mango to you. Uh, it's on. It's on Leah. Look out for it, okay? I thought, I thought Leah was was um, closed. That's right. So you can't get your mango. <laughs> Love to go and the with sky. Yeah, you like that one, right? Yeah, okay, I was okay. Like Leah. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, you caught me, you caught me. So, uh, uh, unfortunately, I can't send you the, 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 the mango. So, that means oh you have to come goodness. to Anguilla for the I mango. I'm telling you, I and Anguilla mangoes, I remember, are mm -hmm. fantastic. You yeah, listen, we, do, we don't play. We, we, we are sweetest. We are sweet in every essence. Remember, we're made, we're made from limestone. So, anything yeah. that comes out of our ground is blessed. Richness. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And, and and grillas, um, and grillas make great farmers. I remember that. Listen, I just has a backyard. Garden. I just had something here, right? I was eating in the background. I didn't want to show you. You either jumped through the um, <laughs> through the camera for me. I, I think we saw you eating it. We we did. I did. Oh, see, you saw I me? It. Jeez, I that's did. not good. I did. What, what is it? What is it? Hold on, let me find. Out. <laughs> it was it, it was something called plums. Oh my goodness, my the favorite. yellow. I was gonna say the red or the yellow. Oh the my yellow, god. The yellow, the yellow. Yes. I saw that. I noticed it. Kelly, oh, Kelly Lardman, you blow me up. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Oh, I was trying, to, I was trying to hide from the camera. <laughs> no, you weren't hiding. <laughs> I could do I could do some yellow plums right now. Yep, Listen. I saw that. <laughs> Listen, I haven't had them in so long. One of one of my good friends, he bought them for me. And you know, there was none to share, so I had to eat them off camera you know mm -hmm. but um we, we, we are full of fruits we're full of natural listening also make sure 
that anytime you reach down here, guys, you got to make sure you go to the sea and pick some sea grapes. Yes, I love the sea grapes. Yep. But you know what you I do? You, you, you wash it in the, in the salt water and you bite oh, wow. it. Oh, wow. So when you, when you bite sweet. it, you're going to have the salt and the sweet taste. Oh, wow. Huh. Yeah, yeah. What, what's the national dish of Anguilla? The national dish of, of, of Anguilla is steamed fish and rice and with, peas. With rice and peas. Okay. Mm. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Pigeon peas. You know what we have? Pigeon peas. I know y'all. I know Anguilla is, uh, is famous for the peas. But you know what? We Our local peas are even better than pigeon peas. So anytime you touch down, um, I'll give you some are those, some, some are those the green peas? Like, like the green yes. peas? Yes. What do you call those peas again? Hold on. Let me, let, let me, let, let me go, let, let me, let me go to Google. <laughs> Kelly, the pigeon you peas. Had, just Kelly, local. Was you had a post about peas the other day? It <laughs> isn't the pigeon peas, but they're just local peas. I know, exactly, the green ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, know, you, you bang them in some rice, you don't want no more than that, you know. Oh, yeah, my grandmother was the queen of the peas. Oh, wait. More peas me, than rice. You, you, you're making me hungry now. <laughs> you know, Warren showing all the great lobsters on, over there in Prickly Pear. Oh, you talking so about amazing. Peas. Boy, I could tell you. But listen, well, anytime you guys reach, you got to make sure you get some local drinks, right? Because our local drinks here are different. different. Well, tell us about your local drinks. Well, you have passion fruit. Oh, you have yes. um, you have that's one, one one called Viagra. That's a mixture yeah. <laughs> of all kind of um natural things, you know, for all the fellas who you know may may, may have a problem with their back. Like, like sea moss and, and bark. Yeah, and we have sea moss too. Yeah, we have sea moss. Yeah, yeah, listen, we, we put a different spin on this thing, you know. Mm. We put a different spin. Yeah, I know. Saint, listen, Saint Lucia, don't feel bad, Kelly. I know Saint Lucia have their thing, but listen, our drinks is is, is different. <laughs> We should have the guava day, so we good, we good. The guava, hey, you, yeah, look at you. you. You bring out the big guns, the guava day. Okay, no problem, no problem. What is that, Kelly? Okay, this is the wrong um venue to talk about. Anyway, <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it's a local drink. It's all um, um uh -huh. spices and the back of trees. It's supposed to mm -hmm. be the local Viagra. Mm. Hold on one sec. Guava day. Guava day is actually hard, hard wood, like, okay, yeah. Well, actually, what time is it? We're signing off momentarily, so let's get... Yeah, Yush. I'm back. Yep, so you should Remember, remember I'm one. also live on Class of Radio right now, Class 929 come, so I'm oh, multitasking. Okay. With you guys and also live on the radio. But, it's all, you know, it's a pleasure. I hope you guys well. have me a part of your next webinar. Oh, absolutely. Always, we I have can't a hear message you, from uh, Patricia well, Park. Hmm? Patricia Park says she's loving the music. It's making me want to schedule my first visit now. Listen, tell her, well, tell her, take it. What her name is? Patricia? Her name is Patricia Parks. Patricia Parks, be like myself one time, Patricia. I, I'm waiting for you at the airport, okay? Yep. I, I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> look, look, look out for Yush. He'll be waiting. He'll be on the orange shirt on. The, the, um, the music got to Patricia. Patricia is ready. That's good. You know ready that's to book her first trip to Anguilla. That, that's that, what that's what these webinars are all about. You know, letting people see a side of the destination they may not have seen before. Meeting mm. some of the local people, the local music, um, mm. hearing it directly from the people who live there. Anybody mm. can, you know, brochures will will start the job, but we like to finish the job with. Um, some kind of conversation with the locals. Of course, because there's they nothing like like hearing it from the horse's mouth, according to the older people. Absolutely. <laughs> you so, Mister Yush, we have mm -hmm. we have three more minutes. Hit us some okay. music. We will no say problem. our goodbyes. Um, okay. We will. We, we're already friends on Facebook, so we mm -hmm. will continue. Hopefully, you'll join Task or group. We'll send you an no invitation. Problem. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we're, we're always looking for allies in the different islands and hopefully before <laughs> um, we have another big event planned for the holidays mm -hmm. and we definitely want Anguilla involved. You'll hear, you'll hear more about it in the next few weeks or so. And yeah, we'd love to have you play for that event when we feature Anguilla Day. I would love to, I would love to be a part of it. Love, love, yep. love. We will, we will definitely give you a lot of notice. Okay, so let me let, let me swing, let me swing this one one time for you, just in case you didn't know, right? Let me let me tell you something. Just in case you didn't know about Anguilla, right? If you've never been here, let me tell you about our little island, 35 square miles of bliss. 
Let me tell you about Anguilla. Dewey, let me tell you. Anguilla Sweet. Pull up the tune. Pull up the tune. Pull up. Uh, I, I tell you about Anguilla. Listen, listen. This is Exodus Band. Out of Anguilla. Patricia Parks, pick up yourself, girl. Let me tell you about Anguilla. Let me tell you about Anguilla. Anguilla Sweet. Oh, Anguilla Sweet. A place filled with so much beauty in the Caribbean Sea. Turkey vibes with my eyes filled with love. You know what? Thank you for having me a part of your session. It is now 5.59 my time, which is what? 5.59 your time. Yes. Thank you guys for making me a part of it. And I look forward to working with you guys and even, you know, playing for you guys very, very soon. Kelly, big up yourselves, big up Bottle, big up Kenroy, big up everybody was a part of this. And and the team is T, give me the, the, the letters, T-S-A. T-A-S-C. T-A-S-C. Yes, Travel Advisors Selling the Caribbean. Travel Advisors Selling the Caribbean. That, that yep. That's creative. Big up yep. you guys. You know, I, I love the initiative. And thank you for being a part of your web webinar. And I uh, hope Fantastic. to see you in Angola after Very everything soon. calms down. Fantastic. Kelly, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Warren, big up yourselves. Everybody that's sound of my voice. Remember, we are 35 square miles wrapped in thank nothing you, but thank tranquility. You. Thank and you yeah, very much, guys. That was awesome. Right. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Sign All right, off. Guys. All Take the best. Bye-bye. Ding, 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 ding.